Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Semi Original Guy, aka Mr. Cannon, from Advanced Woods by Web, bringing you another community battle matchup. Today, we are playing on Chained Melody, and we have No Nova versus Astro. Two very highly rated players. No, or Astro is uh, somewhere in the 1200 1300 range. No Nova, prominent 1400 player, pushing the boundaries of 1500 at the moment. I remember playing the Nova back in the day on their uh, their way to the climb, and uh, I remember them being a pretty good player. I don't think I've had the privilege of playing Astro yet, but maybe one day, folks, maybe one day, you never know. Especially with Live League being a thing, you just never know who you're going to run into in there. Alrighty, so Chain Melody, mixed bass, fairly, uh, kind of high funds, not really, not technically high funds, but a lot of properties. You know, we can see the funds getting uh, pretty high in this one for sure. That means that we are probably going to see some big vehicles in this matchup. Some big tank energy, possibly. And you never even know. We might even see some air units because there is a uh, there's a little airport right there. So it's very cool. Alrighty. Uh, definitely exposed bases in the middle, as we can see. Uh, but aside from that, very cool map. So I think it's going to have a lot of dynamic play to it. Especially with two very highly rated players also. Alrighty, so, Olaf. We all know what Olaf's deal is, you know. King of the blizzard, king of the snow, king of the north. The man with the beard and the hat. We all love him. Day to day, he's got none, you know. He's not affected by snow, that's about it. Other than that, he's just base. Basic. That's all he is, but snow. Now that's a different story. Olaf. Blizzard. Three stars. Makes it snow. Can't move. Can't go very far. You get stuck in the snow. It's cold. You don't, uh, things don't work too well in the snow. But there's lots of roads on this map and lots of cities. So the snow might not actually be as bad as you may think. But the Winter Fury. Global damage. Two points. Global damage everywhere. It's bad time. Bad time indeed. You don't want that. But Max, on the other hand, you know, he gets that plus 20% firepower to his direct combat units. Indirects suffer greatly with a negative range and a negative firepower, but max force, you know, increasing that firepower to the indir or the direct combat units, increasing that firepower and movement by one, max blast, plus two, plus two movement and more firepower. So I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong indeed. Alrighty. So without further ado, let's just go ahead, take a look and see what happened on this one. See you there, folks. Alrighty, we got Nanova, Blue Moon, we got Astro, Orange Star, the way it should be, folks, the way it should be. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what happens today. Now, pretty much, you know, standard infantry builds. You got to get the infantry on the field. Say it every single video, every single time. It's got to happen. It's got to happen, you know. It's got to happen. Alright, so not really much to note right now, most both players just going for their neutral properties. It looks like Astro is definitely going for that airport first. Uh, with the amount of fun potential in this, it's not a bad idea to get that airport out of the way so that it's there. It's early. Quickly getting those battlecopters on the field. Not too bad of an idea. It looks like Ninova is also going for that neutral airport. Soon to be a controlled airport by both players. Alrighty, just standard capture chains at the moment. The Nova going south, looks like, or Astro going south, and Nova going north and south, and all over the place. Yeah, so like I said, not really anything to note so far. So you know what? We're just gonna kind of scooch ahead here. So as we can see, day four, we have Nova with an artillery on the field. Very cool stuff. Artillery, fairly strong uh, from that side. Fairly strong indeed. Got the max player Astro coming in with a tank and a recon. Recon's also going to be fairly effective here. Uh, with the amount of bases in this map, it is kind of difficult to get a tank exactly where you want it all the time because of the threats that are constantly happening all over the map. But we're going to see what happens here because Astro, two tanks already. 
Nanova, one tank, up north. It looks like the recon has also gone north. Nanova caps the properties down here and then pulls it back to the mid. So it looks like we are going to be pushing heavy mid. Not a bad idea, to be completely honest. Considering the fact that we have this tank down here now, it, it would be very difficult. Probably near to impossible to push this side. So pushing over here in the mid, a uh, pretty good idea. But it looks like Astro has now gone to the mid with their tank first. Uh, which is going to be pretty difficult for Nanova to get this tank up here. But with no tank reinforcement at the moment, it's not too... Not really too bad. We got some first blood down here also. It looks like we took an engagement against this infantry here. Now, that infantry does heal up, so we are going to get some counter damage here. Uh, maybe. We're going to see if we actually get that hit. Uh, and it looks like we're about to cap the final properties up north and south. Uh, looks like Astro has denied Ninova this property. Well, Astro has actually gotten this property down here, so that's pretty good. But it looks like the funds are not quite the same at the moment. Nova definitely pushing ahead with the funds, getting the Battlecopter on the field. Very smart move. Uh, I think Astro probably could have benefited from getting the Battlecopter a little bit earlier here, especially with the tanks right here. Uh, early Battlecopter would force out an AA, but the Battlecopter would also probably be able to push into the mid and do a lot of carnage. Alright, so Astro setting up nicely, although kind of leaving this tank a little bit exposed, considering we have three tanks down here. I guess there's a third tank over here, so it's not too bad. And it looks like we took a massive hit down here. So we did manage to take out an infantry. Uh, Nanova does have a bunch of infantry over here primed and ready to attack, though. Alright, what was Nanova going to do on day 8? Looks like we are going to go and threaten a cap on one of the properties up here. Oh, I'm pushing up heavy with the tanks right now, right into danger territory. Right in range of that base. But we are actually blocking it off, so there's only going to be one tank strike possible. And it's a very risky tank strike, especially with this artillery in that position. And the Battlecopter coming in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, Nanova, I think Nanova's playing pretty smart here. Not really pushing into this, especially with this reinforcements here. Uh, clearing out this mid would probably be a very smart idea. But if I was Astro in this position, we could push our tanks up north and fight into this. But we're very weak down here, so I could probably see a little shift coming down here. Ooh, I don't know. We're going to see. My Battlecopter's moving in. Ooh, just out of range of that uh, that anti-air unit. So very nice, very good positioning. Oh, yeah. And then Astro is definitely pulled ahead in the funds here right now. Definitely winning on the capture game. Going to lose one property down here. But an interrupt is definitely possible with this, uh, this little recon right here. Oh, no. It's actually can't really get too far. Okay, maybe that's not possible right there. Oh, and we got a classy medium tank up here from Astro. Very nice. That is what we like to see on the channel, folks. Classy medium tanks making their way. And oh, it looks like we sort of sort of effectively blocked the medium tank. And it can't really go too far. Now, this could definitely come down here and take this, though. That would put us in artillery range, though. Ooh, risky business, risky business. Nanova is pushing this north base really, really hard right now. I can... Ooh, this is risky. Although with the, the medium tank there, it's not exactly going to be easy. Not exactly going to be easy to get through that. And especially with the mid. The mid, yeah, we're shifting north with the mid army right now. Twenty-eight to twenty-three. Oof, that is pretty devastating. Uh, are we gonna see a cla Are we gonna see a mega tank? I don't know. Mega tank is definitely probably not to play, uh, especially in mixed base right now. Uh, but you know, you got that much funds, right? It's be be interesting. We got a neo tank though, so you know, a little less classy. Nanova's got a neo tank down here too now. Uh, definitely, you gotta respond to that though, right? Oh, we're going up and hitting the artillery, blocking in the Neo, 
blocking... Is that an effective block, though? I don't think that's an effective block. Unless we push a little bit more north. Astro's got, like, such a force down here, though. I mean, I feel like it would easily be able to shift over here and take this out, but the HQ is being... HQ is being threatened right now. Oh, we got a blizzard! Oh, we got a blizzard! What? Ooh. I mean, we know that real men plop, pop blizzard, right? <laughs> so that's that's pretty cool. This blizzard is actually, like, I don't know, this is a... Kind of a devastating blizzard, actually. None of these guys are going to be able to come and reinforce up here. And this is looking kind of... Kind of dead. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. I think I. Oh no. I think something's gonna happen here, folks. Something's gonna happen here. This is a pretty good play. This is a pretty good play indeed. Now we're losing out on a lot of properties in the mid. Right? So this is not great. But. Are we gonna see a big old attack? I don't know. Okay, let's check it out. Day 11. Ninova moves in, hits the medium tank. Tries for a couple luck rolls. Attacks the... Oh, my God. We're sacking the Neo. We're sacking the Neo. He's going in. Oh, my God. Is it going to be able to... Fin oh, we finished it off, and we're capping the base. Wow. Oh, that... Okay. Take note of that, folks. That... That was a good play. <laughs> that was a good play. We just... We just annihilated that front. And we pop a second blizzard, back-to-back -back blizzards. We don't even need a Winter Fury. Oh, my lord. Yeah, that second blizzard uh, will definitely secure this cap. There is no way. No way anything is getting through that. And that was incredibly needed, too. Incredibly needed. Because that makes it so this battle copter, especially with the super, will not be able to one-shot this guy. And take that out. That's crazy. That's like a okay. That's a that's a play. That's a play here. But Astro getting very very close to that HQ. That is pretty dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty dangerous. So unless we do a massive front shift over here and get on this HQ, it is very possible this uh, this boy might uh, might fall. I'm gonna fall at the expense of a uh, a base though. I don't know. Is it worth it? Is it? Could it happen? Let's see what Ninova's got here. So we cap the base. All right. So we're ahead on bases now. This is wild. Neo tank moves in. Astra has built a bomber though, folks. So we do gotta watch out for this bomber. Max bombers are nothing to joke about. But with the amount of blizzards that we've seen, I wouldn't even pass it by and over to pop another blizzard just to slow down that bomber. We got Advance Wars 1 Olaf in the house here, folks. And he's not taking prisoners. <laughs> not taking prisoners over here. Oh, and we build the rocket. Alright, we built the rocket to protect our HQ. That's smart. And it doesn't even matter if we base block ourselves because we have another base. So this is this is pretty rough. Pretty rough. Pretty rough indeed. But we have a bomber in range of this base down here. So this is also going to be pretty rough. Because, I mean, we might be able to easily be able to take this base now with the presence of a bomber. Especially a max bomber. Now, if only we had a few more units in range of hitting this guy. Because... Uh, entirely possible we could have been able to take this HQ. This rocket was definitely a clutch move up here. Alright, looks like we are pushing down south. We are going to try to flip this base now. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, Astro's like, you know what, man? Take my base, I'm taking your base right back. That's what's happening here. Double bombers! Oh my lord. You know, they're not medium tanks, but they're basically the medium tank of the sky. So, you know, Bomber's still pretty classy. Pretty classy, not gonna lie. Uh, but, you know, Ninova's not gonna be able to push down south with those Bombers present. Those Bombers are just gonna be able to destroy pretty much anything. Anything that makes their way down south. Uh, we're gonna need some massive anti-air 
presence or some maybe even some fighters. Fighter might not even be a bad idea. Yeah, there we go. We got a fighter. Yeah. I mean, if you're in the presence of two bombers, building a fighter is probably what you want to do. You don't really want to be going up against, well, this amount of tanks, right? And two bombers. That's just, that's not what you want to be doing. <laughs> not what you want to be doing at all. So, smart move. Oh, and we had to actually base skip <laughs> for that. We had to base skip, so we easily blocked the base with this bomber. But I mean, at this point, Astro, the funds are even. They're dead even right now. And Astro is still actually ahead in unit count. So I would say that he's probably, even though Nova's got that base, uh, if we can flip this base like pretty quick, uh, it might still be possible for, for, for Astro here. Okay, it's not over. It's not over until it's over, folks. Day 14, no Nova. All right, capping those bases. Oh, I wonder what the capture limit for this one is. Ooh, I should probably check that out. For a map like this, I'd probably say the capture limit is like 35. I'd say probably, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Probably around 35. <laughs> that would be my guess. But that's a pretty big hit. Pretty big hit right there. And the fighter moves in. So, you know, this is a pretty good position for Nova because we have another Blizzard ready to go. But we also have all of our forces just death balled in the middle. And one of the bombers is, like, way out of position because we're blocking the base, right? Nova also coming in with a bomber themselves, too. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be an easy base block right there, too. Uh, easy shot with the tank. Oh, okay, we're not going to block it with the tank. Are we going to block it with the recon? Oh, I feel like we should probably at least block it with the recon. It's a little risky if we don't. All right, sacrificing a bomber to take up that Neo tank. Not necessarily... Not, nah, I don't know. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> probably a good idea because we don't really want the Neo tank to be floating around. But we lose a bomber, which is kind of bad. Kind of bad. But we did do a massive amount of damage here. But now we have a Winter Fury coming in from Nova. This is. Ow. <laughs> this is a painful Winter Fury. Uh, we just did massive amounts of damage to that front line here. Front line is incredibly weak. Oh, we don't manage to get the KO on the tank, though. So we're gonna... Ooh, we don't get the KO on the infantry. The line is safe. The line is safe. The Battlecopter is definitely not safe, though, because that artillery and the rocket are both in position here. So... That's probably gonna be the next move. I would have figured that the artillery would have shot. Okay, so, all right. I think I see what was happening. Okay, so Nonova. Pretty sure they were saving that artillery shot for if they needed it. If they didn't need it, they were probably going to move it somewhere into a better position. Quote, unquote, better position. All right, so Astro now, I think, yeah. Astro is definitely falling behind now, unfortunately. Uh, but it does look like... I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to flip this base. Yeah, because that's like sitting at what? Ah! Sitting at two. Yeah, nothing is going to be able to do 70% uh, damage to that at the moment. Did get a big hit on the bomber, though, so props to that one. Not using the super co power, though, too, so that's very interesting. I wonder why. I guess we didn't really have enough stuff that could do, like, a ton of damage. So, it prob yeah, I don't think it was necessarily worth it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, fighter wasn't able to actually hit this bomber, so I wouldn't have even mattered there. But it looks like we are taking big hits here. Definitely a couple big hits. Cities opened up. Uh, I don't think this. Would the anti-air go in and take a shot? We could take out the mech, but 
probably not like super good idea. Yeah, pull it back. That's a good idea. We're gonna need another anti-air. Yeah, okay. The Nova builds another anti-air. So Astro Day 16. Putting up a really good fight here. Definitely pulling putting up a good fight. Uh, definitely had a huge lead at the beginning. Why would we attack with our anti-airs? Did we want to... Okay, did we really just want to... Okay, alright. All right, I guess we just... Okay, I gotta go back and look at this. Hold on. <laughs> alright, let's just... Let's re-look at that for a second. Okay, so... Okay, so that's the only thing that that guy could have hit, but this guy could have hit one of the battle copters. I guess we just didn't really have enough stuff to hit the back line, so that's probably why we decided to do that. That does leave these two Battlecopters open here. So two tanks, three Battlecopters, and a bomber. We did flip the base. Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, the bases are now even once again. So I wonder if Astro's going to be able to make a little bit of comeback here. Yeah, so day 17. Like I said, it's not over till it's over. Alright, so tanks are probably going to have to take the tank engagements, but... Oh, yeah, we got Battlecopters. That's right. Okay, so Battlecopters are doing that. Alright. Okay. You said, See, that's, the, that's probably a good idea. So I probably wouldn't want to fight into this at all. Ooh, unlucky right there. The defense definitely playing a big factor in that hit. Having this bomber on the front line would be really, really cool right about now. If I was in the Nova, I'd probably build another fighter, though, too. Just to ensure that this guy can't do anything. But I'm also not a 1400 player, so... <laughs> Alright, we got the Battlecopters in. And Astro, let's see if we can formulate some sort of a defense here. So taking that guy out. We uh, feel like we really need to hit that fighter, though. I mean, the Battlecopters... They're 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 a threat, but this fighter is preventing our bomber from being able to come up here. And I feel like that bomber would be a really big asset to the front line right about now. So I think we need to get that guy up there. Really like to see the bomber up on the front line. And and if Nova, okay, I think Nova might be able to get another Winter Fury this turn because we're 15k. I don't think it would be too hard to get 15k I mean it might not happen it might happen all right Ooh, see this is all right this is this is tough this is a tough shot tough shot right here uh, we pretty much okay we had one chance pretty much to take out that that fighter and now we only have one anti-air the fighter is now going to be preventing Astro from building any air units. So that is a smart position. Alright, bomber moves in. We finally get some value from the bomber on the front lines. Not that this bomber hasn't gotten any value, because we definitely been using the bomber to get that base. Smart. Had to do that. 100%. Nice little hit there. So we are managing to get quite a few KOs still. So that's not too bad. Using our weakened units to block off that one battle copter right there. That's pretty smart. So the only way that we are going to be able to free that battle copter is actually with another battle copter. And that's game. That's game right there. Astro has resigned. And Ninova has managed to win here. And probably... Probably very justified here because this next move right here, Winter Fury. Oh, this next Winter Fury is going to seal the deal. Definitely seal the deal. Oh, especially because this fighter would be able to reach right here. So, like, we could definitely double hit one of these guys. Definitely double hit this guy and double hit this guy. Fighter has a clear shot over here at the bomber. 
and the rest of them can kind of just go at it. <laughs> that's about it. So that's that's game. That's game. I think Astro actually played a pretty good game there, especially at the beginning. Like this stuff down here, man. This stuff down here. Day six, day seven, nine, ten. Look at this stuff. Day ten. Astro, 28-23. That is a huge lead. Huge lead. And he builds a Neo tank. I mean, you figure that a Neo tank is safe, right? Anybody else in this situation would probably run away from this Neo tank, especially a max Neo tank. But Ninova, just going in, handling the situation, popping a blizzard. Surrounding this Neo tank so that nothing can break it. Using the blizzard to cut that movement in half. And then, in addition, not even getting greedy. Attacking the medium tank. And then doing this massive hit. Wait, let's just look at that again. This massive chain of events right here. Beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. And we actually managed to do enough counter damage to ourselves to pop a second blizzard. Without that blizzard, we would have easily been able to pop the scop. And let's actually take a look here. So we pop the scop. This guy would be able to just rush up here, take this out. We'd be able to get one tank moving in. Taking this out. Battlecopter takes this out. And then, I mean, we would be able to interrupt the cap. But, we would we'd definitely take some counter damage. But we'd be able to interrupt the cap. The blizzard basically just sealed the deal here to make it so they would not be able to push past that. Not be able to push past at all. And then after that... Just brawling in the center. Brawling in the center. Beautiful. That was a fantastic game. Thank you kindly, Nanova, for submitting that one to me. I uh, definitely enjoyed watching that one for sure. Crazy one. So, uh, yeah, the takeaway is sometimes when you're ne you, if you build Neo Tank on a base, sometimes it's not safe. <laughs> That's about it. And I think the other takeaway is sometimes... When you feel like you need to retreat, maybe that's when you need to attack, catch them off guard. You never know. So hopefully you all enjoyed. And like I said, if you have replays, send them to me. Take care, folks. Bye-bye for now.